All right, this is a blues turnaround. How can you figure out what key you're in when you're doing this? You know, you're making that shape, okay? My, your second and third fingers would be on the fourth and second strings. So if you remember how to make that shape, you know that your, your E7 or D7, you know, you know how to make that chord, you know where the root is, C7. But I'm the ninth fret, so instead of using my third and fourth fingers, second and third. So now I'm just plucking the fourth and the second and then the fourth again with a down up pick. Because if you want to play faster, it's so much easier than going down. You got to go down, up, down. Seventh fret, I mean ninth fret, ninth fret, E7, fourth and second strings, Fourth, second, fourth. Now I'm on the eighth fret, that same shape. Fourth and second strings. Now what changes here? Second finger. It's on the sixth fret, fourth string. First finger, second string, fifth fret. So same frets, I'm on the ninth fret. Second and fourth strings, second and third fingers. So say that you're doing something like. Anything you can play. Okay, just Just exactly what you're doing right here, okay? There's the turnaround. There's your fingering, okay? Second and third fingers, right? All right? These groups go together right here. Ninth fret, eighth fret, seventh fret, sixth and fifth fret. And if you want, you can throw that in. A. A sharp, then the B note. And that was the first example that I gave, okay? This blues turnaround. But you could play anything. And then I was throwing that in the A7, okay? Important thing for you to focus on is this right here. There's lots of them. This is a basic one. But it demonstrates that when you apply, you know, this particular Blues turn around. You have an idea what's going on, you know, in basic one, four, five progression. You could even play the E7, A7, back to E7 sharp nine. Throwing a couple of these. B7, A7 sharp nine, because I'm barring those two strings. An E7 sharp nine. Like here's an E7. There's a high E7, but when you bar with your your pinky, your fourth finger, the first two strings, you sharpen that nine. That's just like that. Then you can play. Don't forget you can go up too. A lot of people don't do that. like the C7, you can see, put your fourth finger, you 
know? On the third string. Same fret as your third finger. B7. B, B flat 7. A7. So the same thing. If you're in the key of D, right here, to G, D7, A, G, whatever key you're in. Go to this shape right here. That's how you know. So you can play a blues turnaround in any key. Say if I'm in G, right? So I can play a G to C. See, that's the one, four, five progression. G, C to D, which is the five. C is the four, G is the one. But I'm gonna go to this shape. Then that shape. So don't forget. Two fingers there on the fourth and second. They go together. Three half steps. And then you, sh you shape your first and second. That's your second and first finger. All right there. Let me separate them with a bar cord. Show you what they look like. Hopefully you guys stuck around long enough to watch it. They go together, 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 together. That's how you can play a blues. Turn around. Okay. That's it. That shape right there. Make the bar chord. Third finger and the fourth finger. It's on the fourth, second strings. But when you're doing the blues, turn around, second and third finger. On the fourth string, second string, third finger. Hit that fourth string, second string, fourth string. Go down a half step. Same picking pattern. And now keep the second finger, but the, instead of using your third finger there, use your first finger. A half step below it. You can go up as well. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Keep playing and have fun.